the spread in Gary's mode and source maker animations are dying. How can we stop this? What should we do? Well, I have some answers. Hello everybody. Today I'm going to talk about something quite important for me. Splatoon, it's Gary's mod and Source We Maker animations and their audience. But you may be asking. Oh, why don't you open your eyes? There are clearly no problems at all. Well, in order to see my point of view, let's go through the history of this genre, shall we? It all began during the summer of 2015. Splatoon was riding the high plane. People were exact about it. And all of a sudden, crossovers between Team Fortress 2 and Splatoon characters started to appear. Later, Splatoon Gerritmont videos became so popular, they no longer needed to hide behind Team Fortress 2. And it drew in lots of viewers. However, these videos were kind of easy to make. And Splatoon's universe is much deeper than that. So, obviously, as time went on, the only question was, when will someone take Splatoon Gerritmont videos to the next level? The answer arrived in 2016, February 14th, when Pool, an early pioneer of this genre, uploaded the original Octoling Innocent Part 1. And that was the turning point in every aspect. Not because the animation was great, but also because the setting was unique back then, the characters wasn't their own parodies, they were like real people. The dialogues were smart too, so overall, I think that after this came out, the community finally stepped over that past and started making these kinds of videos. But some of you may say, Hey, this is not good. Everybody started copying the original Octoling Innocent. Yeah, some people did that. But if you are clever, you can use this trilogy as your inspiration and still create your own stuff. If everything went the intended way, now we would have had like... 10 to 12 stories based on Splatoon that was on the same level as Octonic Innocent. But this never happened. When did all this go downhill? Pointing on corporate is easy, but explaining the reason is hard. Octopus Hangout Part 2 was the video that started the disorientation. Why? You may ask. You love Pool, so why are you blaming him? Yes, I like pool, but that doesn't mean that I have to close my eyes and sheepishly consume everything he produces. So it's like a generic video, but there is a twist! Did you see that? Yeah, it's a... Uh... OMG! Pool is blue! Hashtag I love this couple, hashtag what happened to Orange, hashtag what do you dislike about this scene squad... Squash team. So yeah, why do you dislike this scene? Let me tell you. It came from nowhere and the story lacks proper explanation why they should love each other. But hey, Pool and Blue were best friends. They agree with this. Some of you may oppose. Yes, I give you that. What I don't understand is why Pool and Blue Inkling characters are a great couple. What kind of topic they have in common? Do they have the same hobby they do together on their free time? Or anything that links them together? We never knew the reason. Mm, the reason why these characters are attracted to each other. And just like with Innocent, everybody started to imitate Pool, without a second thought. You can say that it's hard to write a complex romance. I agree. But there is a difference between a well-developed romance and forced loved interest. Look for an example. It is The Yellowist, The Opposites Part 2. In this video, Julia and Julian are ship each other. <laughs> But this is a different type of shift than the one seen with Pool and Blue. We have at least one explanation why they love their partner. And this is a key. For a simple video, what's not meant to be serious, 
you still need to show emotions to express your character's love. Especially if this video has a much deeper tone. Thus, even the creators can make a misstep every now and then. But hey, this is why we have comments, don't we? Well, technically yes. But nobody criticizes or at least adds a helpful, non-violent insight. Nobody say that. This is a vital part, because balanced feedback is the key to improve ourselves. However, the comment section in these videos is only concerned about the animation quality. I know of how hard it is to bring up the negativity of a video, especially if you otherwise really like it. But this is the only way to improve our media. So overall, what should we do? I believe we need two big changes in the future. First, we need a new channel, where we share the videos of talented but not that famous creators. Why? Is that really necessary? Asks some of you. Yes, definitely, for many reasons. Show the newcomers that they are not only a particle in the sand. If they see their work respected, they will enjoy it and create much more videos. Then they will carry on the tradition of inspiring others, and the cycle will never end. This idea also helps widen your horizon by introducing new faces. And because this channel should have some criteria, it won't drag down the quality, but instead, they will find new favorites. Doing so can also help motivate the veteran animators, who need to stay relevant against the newcomer pioneers, by continuously improving their quality. My second suggestion is for the audience. They should stand out for themselves and write some important notes or reviews. As I said earlier, gentle criticism can help a lot. Currently, everyone talks only about the animation. So the creator thinks that this is the only thing that matters. But the animation is quite hard and time consuming. Not to mention, it's much harder to impress the public. And this can lead to a creative burnout. For example, Blue is cancelled his Rose project because he lost his motivation. I won't judge anybody, but in my opinion, the video wasn't appreciated enough. He worked a lot on the script, the music was just amazing, dialogues were well written, and etc. But everybody talked about the smooth animation. Like there is nothing else. So I think that Blue is forced to work on the animation to impress his audience. And this is the root of all the problems. I mean, I am not a naive. Not everyone is interested in writing reviews or suggestive comments. But if at least after this video, 20 to 30 person will be active, it's enough for a start. It can provide a much major support for animators so they can make a much better content in the future. And I think this is what a fan wants. Bigger and better videos in a long run. If the animator react to your suggestions, or he or she accept it, then you will make you feel proactive and helpful. And this is a great feeling. So this is what I not just think, but feel about this topic. And what do you think about this subject? Feel free, write a long comment if you want. Or you want to say this out, but not in public? Or you want to say this out but not in public? Just let me know. I will pin my Steam profile, you can add me as a friend, and then we can discuss it. I hope, after this video, there will be big changes, because this is my favorite community. And I know we are that strong enough to change. Sabolch, out.